Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Victoria 2 as the United States. So we have a few states that are um, are having some issues with unemployed peoples. Um, we've got 7,000 unemployed craftsmen in Alabama. We're not allowed to subsidize factories. No one is working in the canned food factory here because it doesn't make a profit. Apparently. So that's not good. We can't open factories, we can't destroy factories, we can't build factories, we can't do anything. We just have seven and a half thousand people who are unemployed. Fortunately, the uh, furniture factory is going to be expanded here, which will put these guys to work. And we've got a canned food factory opening up in North Carolina. As for why they would open up a North Carolina food factory, or canned food factory, and not work this one, I don't understand. We're not allowed to expand. We can't do anything to the damn factories. So let's just not worry about it. Whatever. <clears throat> You know, I mean, it is what it is. Alright, so I think that, um... Oh, hey, cool. This will reflect beautifully on us. Hey, uh, Safari. Yeah, we'll take the prestige. So, Burma. Hey, Burma. Let's declare war on you. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't go away. If it does, I'm gonna be pissed. But I have to learn how it works, so... We're going to use the cut down to size CB on you. We're not going to call our allies. It's going to take 50 war score to demand this in a peace deal. That's, that's a lot. It's going to be a big war. And I'm fine with that. We've declared war on Burma. Our war justification continues. I'm ass Again, I'm assuming that that's going to continue. So it's the American-Burmese war. So we're at war with Burma, Nepal, Punjab, Bhutan. And again, I'm assuming that the as soon as we start to win, the British will join in. So I don't need to worry about the British yet. But um, we shall see. Let's check our armies. So we've got our fourth army up here. And we should be able to take that decision. Decision, expedition to the Black Hills. The Black Hills has been recognized, yes, yes. Basically, we just gained a little bit of prestige. And then, does that actually change this to uh, a different good? No. What's the point? It's kind of weird. Alright, um... We're not getting enough supplies. We need more stuff. These Darren armies are not being reinforced well. Now that we're at war, it's definitely not going to be perfect. We have an undermanned brigade in here. Okay, so I remember designing these to be equal. We've got four on the mainland, and we've got one down here. If we're going to end up at war with Great Britain, we'll need to keep this one here to fight in the colonial area. We're going to ignore this area. We'll probably go blockade them. But, um, how many troops can our navy carry? 24 weight. You have a supply weight of... 45. This navy cannot carry all those regiments. Hmm. Sounds like we need to build some more navy. We've got plenty of room for it. Let's go to build navy. Let's build some steam transports in North America. Yeah, I just built 24 of them. I just built 48. But then I want to make sure that on the recruitment map mode, I do not want to rally the ships. Not while we're at war. We'll do it manually. So we will unrally. They can just stay in the ports that they get spawned in. And look at that, we actually have a ton, just a ton of troops that could be recruited right now. Maybe I should even recruit a few more. Yeah, I'm going to make another one. You look at all that green. That beautiful, beautiful green. So we want to go to build army, and we want... I've already forgotten what the setup was. It was... 8 artillery, 2 engineers. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, two engineers. We've got two Hussar, two Dragoon. And then I think it was just eight regular plain old infantry. Because they've got better defense than the guards. Less attack, but I don't care about that. So that's one. Two. Okay. That will make a another regiment. Now, once the steam transports get complete, we'll use those to probably ferry one of these armies to here. Let's go ahead and unpause and see what happens. Rock me in my cradle. Yeah, that one. Got Nathaniel Washington here, one of my favorite dudes, and can click to load this unit onto a transport fleet. Okay, so apparently the, the unit weight is different. Why did we suffer attrition? Well. When it says that the Navy can hold 24 weight, I'm guessing that that actually means... Yeah, that's 24 regiments. And this is only... 22. Okay, good. Well, still, we're at war with Burma. So we're gonna send you way over here. Ah, damn it, I have the damn army selected. And we have a new upper house assembled. More socialist, more liberal, much less conservative. Okay. I think that's fine. As long as we're making money and we're growing and we've got more army and stuff, we're good. Let's bring you back to the edge. Why do you not have enough troops? You're missing an engineer or uh, you're missing an artillery. All right. Budget still looks good? Yes. Well, it would if we weren't building so many ships and everything all at once. But we've got 800,000 pounds in the bank. Ships are fairly well repaired. Well enough that they can beat Great Britain. Climatic tension has caused an international crisis. Crisis over the liberation of Romania. Hmm. Failed to enlist interest. That didn't take long. Is there anything we can do to get a ticking war score here? Doesn't look like it. It's just about winning battles and stuff. Okay. So one thing I'd maybe like to do is, um, if, if possible, it'd be awesome if we could... Hey, Greece went bankrupt. It's funny. If we could, like, drop some troops off, but then not, not get Great Britain involved yet. And then once we've got them... Once we've got the armies in position, then we send the navy up to Great Britain and just completely block them from actually getting any troops anywhere. That'd make winning the war against them much easier. Because you know that they're going to be annoying and move their troops everywhere. And I do want to kill their troops. I want to kill all of their poor. Oh, life rating plus 50% immigrant attraction. Gold in the Black Hills. Good, so that's, that's a good reason to have taken that, that event. Lieutenant Colonel Custer reports back from the Black Hills with an announcement that gold in substantial quantities have been discovered in the Dakota Territory. Prospectors, miners, and fortune seekers flock to the area, but troubling reports tell of strange howls and cries coming from the hills in the night. So, the province life rating in Dakota. All of Dakota? No, it's just this one thing that got the uh, the precious metal. Immigrant attraction should be really, really high.
I don't know, it doesn't seem to have changed. Now, I've still got all my national focus set on recruiting soldiers, which seems fine while we're at war, but if we really wanted to change to a different political party, we should maybe not do that. Navy is well on its way over to Burma to beat them up. How is our war justification going? It's still still continuing, good. I'm going to be really pissed off if Great Britain joins and that stops ticking. Lots of countries seem to be going bankrupt. And we never have enough canned food to train more troops. We really need more canned food. Dumb Republicans won't let me subsidize the factory. We've cored Guyamas. Or something. Alright, so we're at war with Burma. Supply limit for you is nowhere near high enough. Wow. Wow. This whole territory is going to be bad. Can we rebalance? Can't seem to do it while we're... Oh, really? I'm going to have to ask for military access with British India. And they won't give it to me, most likely. Hey, would you give me military access, Great Britain? They will not accept. Shocking. Hmm. Your, uh, your British India here is fairly substantial. Okay, how about the Netherlands? Maybe they'll let us through. Our infamy. Hmm. I hadn't really thought this through. Okay, Dainam. Aha! They're in my sphere. Aha! <laughs> That's totally intentional that I got military access through Dynam. Absolutely. All pops in the USA in culture. The Sioux wa Wars. With the influx of settlers into the Black Hills area, conflicts with the local Sioux have escalated. Sitting Bull. So, lots going on in Rapid City. Population's growing rapidly. That's good though, we need we need more immigration or whatever. Kick the Indians out, it's fine. Still, we're gonna have an atrocious supply limit out there. Gaining thirty eight thousand adult males in the last thirty days. I'm assuming a lot of them are going to get old, eventually. Alright, so we're going to have to just squeak our way through here. Supply limit here is only 18. Ugh. Can we just dock? No. Don't tell me I have to ask military access, do I? Really? Please? They will not accept! You're my sphere, you bastards! Oh, I'm attacking your ally. Thanks, Dynam. Uh, how about the Chinese? They will accept. Finally! Attacking enemies. Good. Please tell me they're your enemy, too. They will not accept. Attacking friends. Well, we can march from the Chinese Empire all the way to Burma. This is all silly, because as soon as we start winning, um, Britain's going to join, and then we can just march right through. But, okay. Perhaps we'll actually have time to get some more steamships done then, while we're waiting for all this. Taking a long time to actually train any troops. Hmm. I 
Alright, finally, please land. And look at that. What do you know? We actually have supply limit here. Oh, military access doubles it. Cool. Sweet, we can march straight to Burma then. I knew that. I knew that's how it was going to work. Alright, we can bring the navy back to... Really, it should just come all the way back. We've gained the Humiliate CB. Good. For how long shall that last? I'm assuming all of them seem to last for six months. I keep on having to go back to this, but... Uh... No, this lasts for a year. Okay, good. Well, I have a feeling that they're going to join within the next year, which will then add that as a war goal. And we're just going to make fun of them. We're going to call them ugly and make fun of their teeth. Haha, you have a British smile. Or something like that. I don't know. We have a lot of old people. Old women's. Women's and lots of children's or something. You know, I really would like to have the ability to subsidize factories. And I don't want my factories to be destroyed, but then again, the capitalists are building more, it seems. Yep, small arms factory. Are we allowed to support these? Nope, can't. Okay, um, activation year, prestige gain, percentage. Sure. Couldn't hurt to have that tech. Navy suffering a little bit of attrition out there. Meanwhile, we're checking out China. We're going on a vacation. Come here, Benin. Or Burma. Whoever you are. No, you can't come into my land, Mexico. We've erected a wall, a fence, a big one. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon.